all right so let's continue so now we need to work on the bookmarks we need to add the functionality for the user to add any word to the bookmark as well as to remove it if it's already bookmarked and at the same time we will also be working on the bookmarks page in order to list out all the different words that they have bookmarked now the very first thing that we need to do is we need to create a state for the bookmarks and it needs to be at a place where it can be easily accessed because it's going to be used by two different screens one is the definition the internal page as well as the other one will be the bookmarks so it needs to be at a common place so that it's possible so for that thing i believe the app component fits is the right fit as it sits on top of all the different pages the different screens that we have so let's create a state and for that let's first import the use state hook from react and let's also import the use effect right away so over here we can create the state and let's name it as bookmarks and we can name the function as set bookmarks so over here let's create a state and by default it's going to be an object an empty object yep that's right it's going to be an object instead of instead of an array and you will shortly see why so after after that we have the state now that we have a state we need to create the functions one for the adding of bookmark and the other one for the removal so for that let's create a function and we can name it as add bookmark so in order to add something to the bookmark we first need the word itself the word that the user wants to bookmark and at the same time we will also be getting the definitions now this definitions is going to be exactly the same thing the state that we have over here now the reason why we are doing this is that once the user bookmarks something instead of saving just the word we can also save the definition so it's going to save us an extra call to the api endpoint in order to fetch the meaning as we can save both of them the word and the definitions within the local storage so that we can avoid an extra api call and that's what we will be doing so over here within the app we are going to get the word as well as the definitions which will again be the same state that we have over here so we need to update the state using the set bookmarks method and we want to persist the old one as well now what i mean by that is along with adding a word to the bookmarks we also need to retain the previous bookmarks the bookmarks which we already have so for that thing we are going to pass in a function where the first argument will be the old state or to say the old bookmarks state value the old bookmarks object and we're going to return back a new one as that's how it works whatever value that you return is going to be the new state so the first thing that we need to do is we need to spread out the previous state the old bookmarks object right over here now along with this the way that we are going to structure is that within this state we are going to have the word like for instance beautiful and the me and the value of it is going to be the array the entire data that we get from the endpoint the return value so that's how we are going to structure it and it means that we just need to update we need to add in a new property where the property name is the word and as as it's a dynamic value we need to wrap it up inside of square brackets and the value of it is going to be the definitions which is being passed as the second argument so now that we have this thing let's also work on the remove bookmark function and for the removal we just need the word itself that's it so let's call the same thing set bookmarks we are going to pass in a function where the first argument is the old bookmarks and in <laughs> well that scared me a bit sorry about that so instead of returning back a new object like an object right away like we are still going to return back an object but instead of doing that right away uh okay so where was i all right so before we actually change the state i actually need to explain something to you so assume that you have an object something like 
name it says let's name it as john and the last is do something like this so when you have an object and if you wish to remove a property from an object you can use the delete keyword and you can refer the property so for instance we can do something like this and this will result in deleting that property from the object so now if we take a look at the object that we have we just have a single property which is this one as we have removed we have deleted the other one so this is how we are, we are going to remove the bookmark from the state object but the thing is we do not want to delete we do not want to mutate the state directly so for that we can first create a copy of the same state so let's create a new variable within the curly braces and we can name it as temp and to this thing we can set it to be an object and within this we can spread out the old bookmarks that we have so by doing this we are creating a new copy of the same state object and now we can use the delete keyword on this temp which is exactly the same thing like the same object as of the bookmarks state and we can remove the word by wrapping it within the square brackets and this thing is going to remove the key with the value from the state object and now we just need to return the same thing we need to return back the temporary value that we have over here as whatever we return from this function is going to be the new state and this will be the new state the exact same one excluding the word that the user just book not bookmarked they removed from the bookmarked so that being done let's actually pass these three things the bookmarks the add bookmark and the the remove bookmark to the definition screen let's do that so over here i will be selecting both of them let's get over here to the definitions component let's set the bookmarks because we also need to pass in the state so let's set it to be of bookmarks the state value and let's set the add bookmark to be of add bookmark and remove bookmark to be of remove bookmark the same thing so now let's get to the definitions screen and over here we can kind of destructure all the three props that we are passing from here let's actually do it in one go by adding it over here and we can actually just get the word itself so over here we can get the three props let's add in the comma in between and let's use them so firstly we need to have the boolean value stating whether the word is already bookmarked so for that let's create a new variable and we can name it as is bookmarked and this thing we can actually check the bookmarks so it is an object as we already know the the entire bookmarks state is an object where the keys are the the keys are the words that the book that the user has bookmarked and the value of it is the actual definitions so what we can do is we can use the object dot keys and we can pass in the bookmarks in such a way so this thing is going to return back an array containing all the keys all the words that the user has bookmarked and now that it's an array we can use the includes method on it which takes in a value a string value and we can provide the element that we want to check so we can provide the word that we have and now this thing will return back true if it does exist within the bookmarks array so this thing will be true if the word is already bookmarked otherwise it's going to be false and we can use the same thing in order to change the icon that we have over here so let's wrap the icon itself within the within an expression and let's use the is bookmarked so if the icon is already bookmarked we can show the other icon that we have which is the bookmarked icon let's do that and in fact let's do one thing over here we can copy the same icon let's add in the colon because we are using the ternary operator and let's change the icon to be of bookmarked so now that it's done let's actually test it out by 
manually okay what is wrong it's bookmarked icon so let's test it out by manually adding the word over here so we are searching for beautiful let's enter the same thing and we can keep the value to be an empty array doesn't matter so if it's working it should be filled and that's what it is perfect so now let's work on like the actual functionality so on the icon button which is wrapping the icon we can pass in the on click and it's going to be a callback and we first need to check that if the word is already bookmarked and then if it's then that the user is clicking on the button like if it's already bookmarked and the user is clicking on the icon button which means that they want to remove it from the bookmarks so for that we can call the remove bookmark and we can just pass in the word but if it's the other way around we can call the add bookmark and we need to pass in the word as well as the definitions for which we already have the state right over here so if we do that and if we take a look let's actually get to the app component and over here let's log the state to the console let's test it out and if i click on the button as you can see we have the state which should be empty as that's what it is but if i click on it now it has one property which is the the word that the user bookmarked and the value of it is the is an array containing the definitions the exact same thing that we get from the like the return value of the endpoint and if i click in a click it again it should remove the word so that's perfect that's exactly what we need to have perfect so now the last thing would be to actually persist that state within the local storage so by that i mean as of now like currently we are saving the state within the like it's a component state within the app component so even if i refresh like even if i bookmark a word and if i refresh it's going to wipe it away which is kind of obvious because we are not persisting it anywhere it's just a component level state however it's kind of obvious that we need to do that we need to persist it somewhere so that even when the user visits the application at a later point they can see the bookmarks so for this thing we are going to use the local storage and let me actually open it up in case you're not familiar with this what it is so local storage is your browser based storage it allows you to save like store anything it takes it works in a key value pair kind of thing and for this for our case we are going to use two methods the first one is going to be set item which takes the the first argument is the key sort of like a label and the other one is the value for it and in order to get the like something out of the local storage we can use a similar method called get item and we just need to provide the key and it's going to return back the value so that's how we are going to use it let's do that now the other thing is uh, we want to update the state whenever something gets added like whenever a user adds a bookmark or they remove a bookmark so instead of manually calling the like instead of manually calling the or like updating the state within the local storage like over here whenever that happens adding something like local storage something like this and updating it over there it is possible but it seems a bit tedious tedious and at the same time a bit imperative so what instead we can do is we can make use of the use effect hook that we are importing from the react so this is the exact same hook that we used in the definitions component where we are fetching the data from the api endpoint so it takes in a function as the first argument and this function is called on every render and in the case of definitions we just limited it to the very first one by passing in an empty array as the second argument however for this case we are going to pass in an array where there will be just a single element which is a single value which is the bookmarks now the reason why we are doing this is is just so that 
whenever anything changes on this state value which means that anything got added or removed whenever anything happens like that we want to update the same thing within the local storage we just want to keep everything in sync so for that we can call the local storage right over here and we can call the set item method for the key let's use bookmarks and for the value we can use the bookmarks but the catch is that the bookmarks that we have it's an object and we cannot we cannot save javascript objects within the local storage so what instead we can do is we can stringify it by using the json.stringify which is just going to convert it into a string so after that it's done let's actually use the same thing because we do want to use the bookmarks once the user visits the application so instead of passing in an empty array as the default value right over here we can do the local storage dot get item like instead of having an object like the empty object we need to get the state from the local storage and set it as the default value so over here we are going to pass in the bookmarks the same key as what we are using to save it but again this is going to return back okay so this is going to return back the stringified json like the the string value so we need to parse it let's do that by wrapping it inside of json.parse and again we need to do one more thing so this thing will return back as null for the very first time that the user visits the application so let's set it an or statement and we can set the other value to be an object uh it seems like it's throwing some sort of error anyway let's all right so while calling the get item we also need to pass in the key which is the bookmarks in such a way so we are just setting the 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 state that we have within the local storage as the default value the default state for the bookmarks and we are parsing it as well which will work perfectly fine so now if we save it let's actually take it for a spin let's actually open the dev tools and it seems like we have i think it it, it was from before so let's open the application tab as that's where we have the local storage right over here so there we have the bookmarks perfect within the local storage right over here and if i add something if i bookmark a word it should be added to the local storage as well let's test it out so that is perfect that's beautiful so if i click on it again it should remove it and we have the same thing being synced so that is great and it should work perfectly fine for any other word as well as that's how we have structured it so if i search for a different word like this fire it that's where there we have the local storage so that is perfect that's again one thing of the list now the other thing that we need to do is we need to work on the bookmarks screen as well as for the bookmarked words within the definition screen we need to use the state like instead of making the request to the endpoint like if the word is already bookmarked we do have the state right with us like within the local storage so instead of making the request over here we can use the same thing like we can use the the value from the local storage so let's do all of that plus the responsiveness of the application in the next video